Good morning, traders. Welcome to FollowMeTrades.com, Real Traders Club on Wednesday, October 11, 2023. And fall is in the air, at least here in the Northwest. It's been raining today. Leaves are turning, starting to fall. That's good. I like seasons to change. The market's been open 30 minutes. Let's see what's going on in the global financial markets. Dow rises fourth day as yields continue to retreat. Exxon makes a deal. Exxon buying Pioneer resources, $60 billion. Dow is up a little bit. S&P 500, about the same, 0.16. NASDAQ, a bit more, 0.34. Okay, we had an important uh, economic report come out. Hey, uh, PPI, producer price index, which is like wholesale inflation, month over month. Last month, it was at 0.7. Forecast was to come in at 0.3, came in at 0.5. So still down below last month, but above the forecast. So a little bit more uh, wholesale inflation than was expected. Tomorrow, bigger number, CPI, consumer price index, inflation, real inflation. Month over month, last month was 0.6. Forecast is 0.3. What's it going to be? Uh, the recent rise in energy prices may have an effect. Core takes that out, but the overall CPI, I believe it's included. Hey, Shiv is here. Inflation a little bit hotter than expected, but not uh, crazy. That's the whole uh, Fed focus, even though PPI was up, uh, the uh, 10 year yields pulled back a little bit. So that was a welcome thing for the market. There's this uh, Exxon uh, Pioneer deal, Pioneer's surging on that. A couple of other companies I saw were moving were uh, surprising. Uh, Plug Power, that's one that uh, we've watched for a while. We've traded a couple of times. It's an interesting company. They were up. Uh, we'll take a look at that chart here in a minute. But let's look at the S&P 500 chart. I always just want to get some perspective. Here's this move up off the 200-day moving average. And here, you know, they talked about fourth day in a row. One, two, three, four. Up into the cloud, approaching potential resistance here at the 50-day moving average, this lighter line. So that's going to be um, right about the time tomorrow that we get the CPI report. So that will be interesting, won't it? We'll see that tomorrow. Uh, we were interested in a couple of charts yesterday. I just wasn't quite full yet, but um, we're going <clears> to <throat> review today and see Carnival. And we saw that this chart looked kind of good. Uh, the cruise line bookings are, are uh, up. A lot and they're have they're raising their prices so here it is really nice support at the 200 day moving average yesterday it was up said hey, let's let that prove out just a little bit more. here it is it's down today watch for a breakout and if it does break out it you know it's got a, a nice percent uh, move potentially there but uh, no rush on that let's see uh the other cruiser in c l h norwegian I have to make notes on that Looking for a breakout on this as well. This is up today. A little break up here, and this could uh, signal a, a decent trade for us. Said we wanted to look at plug. Let's do that. I uh, had a move yesterday off the bottom. A little bit of a gap up today. Uh, here was a channel before. Really hasn't broken through that. Look at this volume, 23 million. So there must be some news. Here it is. Uh, investor presentation. Of course. Uh, continuing to watch and also said uber was worth paying attention to and keeping track of here came down to this bottom here's a high found support and it did take out that prior high and it's up a little bit today so that's a, a potential for a, a breakout pretty decent and we got a little time until earnings is out here somewhere there's within a few days of that more than likely and I think that is it for our uh, open.